美国新冠病毒感染的住院人数不断的攀升，导致有许多州的医疗机构面临了崩溃边缘，而患者也背负着庞大的医疗账单。下图有一名入院治疗六十二天的新冠病患，他的账单总金额就高达新台币三千三百七十万元。而美国头两位接受双肺移植手术的新冠患者，也语重心长的以自身为借鉴，提醒大众千万不要不把新冠病毒当一回事。This is true. This hit me like a lead slammer on my head. I was perfectly healthy. This thing took me down hard. 今年六十二岁的布莱恩·库恩斯在妻子的陪同下出席芝加哥西北纪念医院新冠双肺移植手术患者的痊愈记者会。库恩斯表示，染疫前他都把防疫专家的警告当耳边风，也从来不佩戴口罩。库恩斯是在七月五号进行双肺移植，是全美的第二个病例，第一例是他。今年二十八岁的梅拉拉·米瑞兹，她是在六月五号进行手术。Lung transplant isn't for every patient with COVID-19, but it does offer some of the critically ill patients another option for survival. Mary and Brian are living proof of that. 根据器官捐赠单位的资料，美国去年进行了两千七百一十四场肺脏移植手术，但在新冠患者身上进行移植是全新的挑战。以拉米瑞兹为例，他在加护病房昏迷了六个星期，肺部遭病毒侵蚀，已形成无法逆转的损坏，仰赖呼吸器维持生命。手术进行前，医师必须确定拉米瑞兹体内完全没有病毒，因为和所有器官移植患者一样，术后必须服用抗排斥药物。那会让免疫系统敞开大门。一般双肺移植手术所花的时间大约是六到七个小时，但拉米瑞兹与库恩斯都在手术室躺了十个小时，因为肺部发炎与坏死的组织太多，医生额外得花时间清除干净。I was a very independent person. I'm no longer to do daily, day-to-day tasks without feeling exhausted. Just simply walking. Short amount of steps is very difficult. Also, you know, it's hard to deal with mentally. The entire time that I was, you know, on the vent, I had a lot of nightmares, and it's hard to distinguish reality versus those nightmares sometimes. 肺脏移植因捐赠者少，加上术后感染高，是所有器官移植手术困难度最高的。美国术后一年的存活率达九成，五年的存活率在五成左右。活超过二十年以上的病例也有，但是不多。目前西北纪念医院还有两名新冠重症患者在排队等换肺。美国染疫的重症病患，除了活受罪、鬼门前走一遭之外，住院治疗的费用也很惊人。西雅图现年七十岁的麦克佛尔，在新冠加护病房待了六十二天，出院后收到的账单厚达一百八十一页，总金额高达一百一十二万两千五百零一美元，相当于新台币三千三百七十万元。I was expecting the sum, but still seeing it in writing was. A bit daunting. I know that when I first woke up in the hospital, that's about five weeks. I was in a coma, and, and I realized how long I'd been there and how expensive it was going to be. Um, I think I told my wife that she needed to get me out of there because. Just afraid of going bankrupt. Fur 还在忙着厘清这一大笔医疗账单，他的私人保险与联邦医疗保险可以分担多少？而美国有多达两千八百万人完全没有医疗保险，国家若置之不理，将形成可怕的防疫破口与人道危机。为此，川普政府四月推出了一笔三百亿美元的新冠检测与医疗补助计划。Today, I can so proudly announce that hospitals and healthcare providers treating Uninsured coronavirus patients will be reimbursed. 但到目前为止，钱下来了吗？就唐纳胡特来说，答案是否定的。他没有保险，而院方给他进行了新冠检测，事后直接向他收取两千美元费用。从医院的角度来说，他们可以选择是否接受联邦经费，而许多医院怕收不到钱，干脆直接拒绝。There is concern that there's not enough money in the fund. We have about 28 million people who are uninsured, and that number is likely to rise. Um, so I think there's a concern that the overall amount is insufficient to meet the need. 
。美国保险业者估算的新冠患者治疗费用是五千亿美元，而政府端出的补助计划只有三百亿美元。保险业者已经向国会发出求救讯息，希望当局能够加码。记者王慧文整理报道。